tonight the story of a for former Virginia Beach student who wanted to publicly thank three coaches at her old high school. She was the baseball team manager, but was facing some challenges until those coaches stepped in. As News 3's Kurt Williams shows us in tonight's People Taking Action. I feel him, Maddie. Good, scared. Uh, <laughs> don't be scared. This is a good thing you did. Back in the hallways of her old school, Kempsville High, former student Maddie Beardsley is a little nervous as she's helping us surprise some people very special to her. But since it involves three staff members, it's a little trickier to coordinate this surprise. We're in a holding pattern right now because this is three presentations, so we're trying to make sure everyone is in place. What's involved in trying to pull this all off? What's involved, there's a lot that's involved, there's a lot of moving parts to this, but it's well worth the time to make sure that everybody's recognized for their good work. But soon the principal gets word all the key players are in place, so we're off to the gym. To find varsity baseball coach Travis Sutton and his two assistant coaches. Kurt Williams. Nice Zach Wolf. Zach Wolf. And there's a third individual. Mr. Bender's right Mr. here. Bender. Mr. Bender. The reason Maddie wrote to us is to thank them for this paved path to the school baseball field. When she first started as the team's baseball manager, this wasn't here. It used to be just a dirt path. And if it rained, even if only before a game, that would keep her from showing up. Coach didn't know why at first. She's like, I have to pay attention to the weather. And I'm like... Well, it was good weather, or we wouldn't have been playing baseball. And she's like, not for my wheelchair. And it just, you know, dagger to the heart. You're like, wow. It just never really occurred to me. So she kind of woke us up a little bit, and then we're like, okay, what can we do? Even though she's no longer a student, Maddie wanted to give them recognition. I can't thank them enough. They named the path Maddie's Raceway. It had some of them fighting back tears. It would be wonderful if... WTKR3 could help me thank them. My nickname with the team was Speed Racer or Speedy. We want to present you with the News 3 People Taking Action Award. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> As she was reading that, what was going through your mind? Don't cry on camera. <laughs> She came to us and she loved on us and so we just wanted to try to make sure she could be out there with us. I'm just a special person who uh, I think we benefited more from her being there than, you know, than she did. Um, she really brought those guys together. News 3 has a community partner, Southern Bank. Southern Bank has a $300 Visa gift card for you. Thank you. It's not about us. I mean, we're just grateful to have her in our lives. So she's no longer the team manager, but the current team manager also uses a wheelchair. Oh, wow. And so she just feels so good that this wasn't just about her. This was just providing wheelchair access for, for all the students. So it goes from the parking lot at Kempsville High all the way to the dugout. It's a huge project. Yeah, and so with the help of the uh, Americans with Disabilities Act, I mean, the, the coaches, I mean, they started making calls around and, and through all of their efforts, no pun intended, they were able to pave the way for Applause for all around. Yeah, I was Nicely holding back done. tears on that one, too. Oh, man, yeah. it was tough. It was tough for everybody there. If you want to nominate someone for a People Taking Action Award, it's really easy. All you have to do is click the Taking Action link on our homepage, and there you can click the tab for People Taking Action. And then on the right side of that page, you'll see a link to the nomination form. Kurt Williams, News 3.